Hello guys, welcome to Jira training. In this session, we will learn about Jira user, roles and groups. So before we actually go ahead and start demo of creating a user or a role, project role or a group in Jira software, it's very important to understand what exactly a user or a role or a group stands for in Jira. So a user is any person or any team member who will be logging into the Jira instance. And a user will be counted towards your Jira license. Okay, so any person who is given access and is logging in will be counted towards a user. Now, the second thing is groups. So groups are multiple users within your instance that need the same application permissions. So grouping is important in Jira because most of the time there'll be many, so in bigger organizations, there'll be many people who will require similar sort of access to a particular project or to certain types of issues or a limited amount of access or permission within the Jira application or Jira instance. So the best way to do is, you know, like group the people in a particular uh, group and then provide permissions to them, uh, provide permission to that group, which has limited access to the projects or, or to the issue types. So this is, you know, like groups are the multiple users within your instance. And the third thing is the project roles. So project role is a flexible way to associate users or groups with particular projects. So project role is more specific to project and group is more of a global thing. So if you see project roles are project specific while groups are global across the Jira application. So for example, you want to limit access for the users within a specific project, then project roles are the, the um, preferred way to do that because it will restrict the user uh, within those roles in a particular project. But if there is a group of people who want uh, the, the access, you know, like G across the Jira, global uh, access across the whole Jira application, across multiple projects, then you need to group them into groups and then provide permissions to them to that particular group okay so let's see and uh, let's see the demo of how you can add users roles and group in the jira software so i've already i'm already logged in into the jira instance or the jira software that we have installed on the local computer so in order to manage users, you just go to the header and then extreme right, go to uh, the Jira administration, the cog wheel. Under Jira administration, you'll see user management. Okay, click on user management and you'll find the user management page open. And under user management, you will see users and groups available, right? So to add a user, so you can, you need to have the either Jira administrator permission or Jira system admin permission to add or invite or create users. So you can invite users. So for inviting a user, your SMTP configuration needs to be enabled. So you need to have SMTP server configured so that the email notification could be sent to the users once you type in um, the email address. So since we haven't configured the SMTP, so we won't be able to invite the users at the moment. Uh, we can create the users. So to create the user, just click on create user, provide the email address of the user. So I'll just put test and then I'll say test user one. 
and then any provide password. So if you check this send notification email and your SMTP configuration is is enabled, so which obviously would be when you are you know like deploying Jira for the production or for your enterprise. Since this is evaluation version, we haven't enabled SMTP. Then the notification email will be sent to that person on the email address that you have provided here, right? And then it asks you know like by default it gives access to the Jira software to the whole application. If you check this box, create another then the same window will will be open and it will uh, allow you to create another user okay so the first user got created you can see test user one is created and the group name associated is jira software user so by default once you create a user it by default goes to the jira software users group okay now there are multiple options or operations supported for the user so you can edit the user information so there are multiple things that you can edit edit you can edit the username you can edit the name email address etc and then you can edit the user group so you can add a user to a particular group so you can just start typing whatever group you want to add that user in and select that particular group so join selected group and that user will be added in the other group as well so you can uh, as an administrator you can add the new user in the different user group you can view the project role and you can also delete the user from the Jira instance okay now second thing is to see how you can add new groups so click on groups and then to add a new group you can just say uh, just type in whatever new group you want to add say for example I have Jira administrator I have Jira software users I want new group to be created for BAs in my organization I'll just create uh, Jira hyphen BA and click on add group and you can see Jira BA group has been added with no users so you can add new users in the Jira BA group uh, different operations supported for the group so you can edit members of that particular group you can add new members you can remove the existing members if they are and you can delete the newly added group as well right so this is pretty much about adding users and group in Jira uh, software prior to I mean in older versions of Jira software you were uh, we used to have roles here as well in under user management but now in the latest version it has been moved to the system configurations so to, to add the role you need to go to system config and search for project role under security so click on project role so here you can see you can add new role so I'll say PA if you want to add a new project role and click on add project role and new project role has been added so as an administrator you can edit it you can delete it uh, and you can see the usage of that particular role so that's pretty much about adding the user role uh, the project role groups and users in Jira software thank you